Thank you for joining this webinar today. I'd also like to thank Farm Credit Canada for funding the project. My name is Benita Hoos. I have a background in education, and until recently, I've lived in rural Saskatchewan. I have been working for the Canadian Centre for Health and Safety in Agriculture for over 10 years. CCHSA found a connection between stress, sleep, safety, and injury through long-term research projects, and out of this came the Farm Stress Initiative. The network is committed to the long-standing Farm Stress Initiative and will continue to provide strategies for families to deal effectively with stress and protect their mental health. We promote a holistic approach to mental health. Stress, sleep, health, and safety all play a part in a farmer's mental health. Our goal is prevention, and we offer a variety of resources, clinics, and activities to keep farmers physically and mentally healthy all year round. So just a little bit about what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about what is stress, the stress, sleep, and injury connections, identifying stress signals, for example, what to do in a crisis and what to do during the busy seasons, planning for good mental health in the off-season, your mental health forecast. Uh, we'll talk about um, learning, balancing, and planning. And of course, we'll talk about the farm stress inventory, which will be your homework at the end. Stress is the feeling of pressure, strain, or tension that comes from dealing with challenging situations. Stress is a demand on, that is made on the body it's made on our body's capabilities that can be either good or bad. A new baby or a wedding is exciting and good, but it still counts as stress. The event isn't as important as our reaction to it. If our capacity is good enough, we'll respond well, but if it isn't, we won't respond well at all. Stress can happen suddenly with little warning, or it can build over time over a short period, build quickly over a short period of time. It can snowball over weeks, months, or years, Addressing it as soon as possible provides the best possible outcome. One in five or 20% of Canadians will experience a mental health crisis in their lifetime. Unfortunately, only 6% of these people seek help. Learn to manage your stress before it becomes a mental health crisis and include your family and workers to foster a culture of resiliency. No good comes from trying to hide it. Too much stress on a farm can lead to tension in, a fa in family relationships it can lead to poor operational decisions and can tragically result in a death or a debilitating farm incident. Poor decision making can be even worse when there's a lack of sleep. A lack of sleep can increase due to stress during busy or difficult times. Farming with a lot of stress and a lack of sleep can be the equivalent to farming while impaired. There's certainly enough literature showing the detrimental effects of taking on unchecked stressful, sorry, taking an unchecked stressful day into sleep. It's really a vicious cycle. Hurriedness is the sense, sensation of feeling rushed and pressure due to a pending deadline or weather condition. Hurriedness causes us to make poor decisions to save time such as stepping over a PTO or servicing equipment without shutting the equipment down first. CCHSA research shows that farmers who get less than five hours of sleep are at higher risk of injury. Combining the hurriedness or rushing sensation with stress and a lack of sleep, you're faced with a recipe for disaster. Our bodies send us signals when there's something wrong. It is begging us to change something. Physical, emotional, and behavioral signals may be distracting, but as they increase, they can make farm work hazardous and lead to injuries or fatalities. Stress signals are different for different people. Just being aware of them can help you identify them in yourself and your family. Some signals can make you, your work life dangerous. Others may not affect work as much. For example, a drop in sexual interest may not be a hazard on the field, but fatigue can cause injury. Forgetting just once to do a walk around a large piece of equipment could result in a family member being run over. Physical signals include the following, headaches, chest pains, stomach problems, indigestion, change in blood pressure, rapid beating heart, grinding or clenching of teeth, fatigue, 
a drop in sexual interest and back pain. So if you take a look at that screen, which ones of those do you recognize in yourself or other people in your family? Some of the emotional signals are difficulty controlling emotions, increased blow-ups, frustration, impatience, low self-esteem, depression, suicidal thoughts, easily upset, and crying. Do you see any of these in yourself or the people around you? Of course, the, your signals may be even things that aren't on this list. The behavior signals are overeating or not eating, increased smoking, increased drinking, a change in sleep habits, difficulty relaxing, restlessness, a lack of concentration, forgetfulness, withdrawal from others, or short temper. Not every single sign has been listed here, but enough of them are to get the idea. Identifying these signals that your body is sending you is detrimental to your mental health. Don't ignore them. We all want to be tough. Farmers have a strong tradition of being independent and the tendency is not to openly talk about problems or ask for support until things are absolutely desperate. Stressing our mental health out to the max has no advantages and no rewards. It defies a safe and healthy workplace. High stress levels are not something to be celebrated. For any other illness or disease, we use the symptoms to identify and treat the illness. So why would we ignore mental health symptoms? We wouldn't ignore the symptoms of kidney disease, for example. Get used to identifying your warning signs and act as soon as they start to appear. For example, you know that your sign is a stomach ache, do something about it right away. At the first sign, take a moment and look around you. How can you reduce your stress level right away? What is one thing that you can take off your plate and ask somebody else to do right now? Who can you talk to about it and get it off your chest right now? Don't wait for it to become worse till you can't deal with it easily. There's no reward for bottling up your stress and feelings. So I'm going to talk about mental health planning for the off season, but what do you do right now if you feel that you're having a mental health crisis or somebody around you is? First, immediately find professional support for yourself or the other person. Make the appointments, start with your family doctor or call a crisis line. Support them with positive encouragement. Encourage proper sleep, nutrition, and a healthy lifestyle. Listen with empathy and no judgment. If you're supporting someone who is working through a mental health crisis, seek support for yourself. Those supports are out there for yourself as well, not just the person who's having the crisis. Just like it is important to have a fire extinguisher on hand in case of an emergency, it's important to be prepared for a stress emergency. Planning good mental health starts before we're in the middle of our busiest seasons. But when we're in the middle of things, we can cope by doing the following. Take breaks and stretch. Stay hydrated and eat nourishing meals. Get some sleep. Lean on your supports. Make sure you talk to somebody. And avoid alcohol and drugs. Preparing your mental health in the off season starts with the fantastic five. They must be replenished in the off season. If our stores are completely empty because of sloppy habits in the preseason, we start the season at a deficit and run the risk of running on empty, which places us at risk for a mental health crisis. But preparation and good habits gives us the ability to be flexible and accepting when things do get tough. On your next off season, consider planning for good mental health before you get very busy again. You grease up your combine, change the oil, clean out grain bins, and fill your fuel tanks before you start seeding or harvest. Consider doing this for your mind and body. Fill up your storage with the Fantastic Five. This will help you work towards a stress-resistant personality. These superheroes may be the difference between a mental health crisis and a well-managed season. You may choose to live your life with constant stress so that it becomes your normal, but you risk damaging your health. So let's take a look at the Fantastic Five, starting with exercise. A physically fit body is better, to, better able to withstand the effects of stress. 
Regular exercise gives you energy and endurance. It has a calming effect. 20 minutes of cardio can release endorphins in the brain that reduce depression and stress. Exercise also makes you feel good, sleep better, and it can be fun if you pick an activity that you enjoy. Walking is a really easy one. A series of stretches will also help. Cultivate your exercise practice all winter long to get yourself in shape for your season. So moving along to relaxation. Stress will tense your muscles and make breathing shallow. It raises blood pressure and makes your heart pound. But relaxation skills can reverse these effects so that you feel better, think better, and perform better. Different people find different activities relaxing. Some will lean towards meditation and long baths while others prefer to read or watch the sunset while taking a casual stroll. Breathing exercises fall into, this, into the relaxation category as well. There are several different types that you can find online and find one that suits you. Pick a relaxation activity that's right and schedule it into your life until it becomes a habit. Next, we have sleep. Sleep gives you energy and endurance. A good night's sleep is more likely if you have developed a bedtime routine. Sleep has been found to be so detrimental to farmers that CCHSA has research demonstrating how important it is. Farmers who get less than five hours of sleep a night are more likely to experience an injury. If you're in doubt that a sleep routine will work for you, think about children. If you deprive them of their sleep routine, they have a hard time getting a good sleep. Adults aren't different than children. If you make your sleep routine a habit all year round, your body will recognize the habit and prepare for sleep even during busy seasons. We will be hosting a webinar that focuses on sleep in the new year, so don't forget to sign up for that if sleep is something you need more of. So moving on to nutrition. Good nutrition provides energy and endurance, which is especially important during busy seasons. Most Canadians are portion control challenged. We eat too much and yet not enough of the healthy foods. Obesity adds a whole new element to your health and safety. Avoid this by eating healthy all year round. Also related to nutrition is water intake. Always keep a bottle of water nearby because dehydration can quickly change your outlook. Make good nutrition a habit all year long. The last of the fantastic five is social support. The following comment is from one Saskatchewan farmer. I felt like I was trapped and couldn't get out. Half of me didn't want to open up to anyone. I think I was afraid people would judge me and think I wasn't able to solve my problems. The other half of me desperately needed someone to talk to, to listen, and to help me brainstorm some ways to cope. When I finally opened up, I felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. We don't want anyone to feel like this farmer did. Consider finding a professional counselor or confidential phone line program to help if you feel completely alone, overwhelmed, or hopeless. Talking to someone you trust to help you clear your head and focus on eliminating or reducing stress and anxiety can make all the difference in the world. Make it a regular practice to share with others. On this slide is the farm stress line information for Saskatchewan. At the end of the presentation, you will find national call lines. You may have a local call line that's best for you as well. When you use the Fantastic Five all year long, you are making good deposits into your storage. You will be able to handle the stressors that come your way. Keep your stores full by working all year long with exercise, sleep, nutrition, social support, and relaxation. Make these your fantastic five. Planning for stressful times gives us the ability to be flexible and not overreact when a situation gets tough. For example, when you have less sleep, more breakdowns, and uncooperative weather. Often the toughest situations are those we have no control over. This comes with being human. Your mental health forecast for the season can be determined by the effort you put into the preparation in the off season. The Fantastic Five work together to keep you prepared and healthy. The catch is that you must plan with a positive attitude, a willingness to explore resources, to accept help, and adopt a flexibility for stressful situations. 
Planning your mental health in the off season will help you have a winning season. Football players don't just play on the field, they spend a lot of time preparing their bodies and minds in the off season. There's a lot at stake for them. Preparing for farming season is quite similar. You can exercise in the off season, practice relaxing activities, develop a consistent sleep routine, access social support, and eat a well-balanced diet. This goes a long way to prepare you for what's going to be your busy season. Balance is a buzzword that we hear a lot. Rarely can someone's life be in perfect balance. Most of the time, it's an imperfect balance. But if we make an effort to learn from the past and plan for the future, we can have a relatively balanced present. Don't live in the what ifs and the should haves. A mistake learned from is a lesson. We're capable of making changes. Balancing one's life is like being on a schoolyard teeter-totter. Depending on the weight on each side, the work-life balance focus can, can shift to one side at different times. As long as the weight doesn't stay to one side for too long, we can bring it back to a balance and compensate appropriately. Don't stay out of balance for too long because the longer we stay out of balance, the harder it is to get back in. Consider the following options to start planning your mental health. Um, the farm stress inventory can be found online at the, the link that's below. Um, please send us an email if you're having trouble finding that. What you see on the side now are some support links uh, that are Canadian and can be accessed by, by anybody in Canada. You may have some local supports that may work better for you, so it, it wouldn't hurt to check into those as well. Thank you very much, and if you're able to do our questionnaire, that would be very much appreciated.